The spare wheel well is one of the last few remaining places with rust on the 280Z. Let's get it fixed today. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the garage and we got some more work to do on the 280Z. Last video we tried to clean this up as good as we could with Evaporust hoping that it was salvageable. It was not. You can see all the holes we got in it all over the place. A lot of the metal is thin. Some of it is okay and if it didn't have holes in it I would probably try and save it. It's a spare wheel well it's not a huge deal. We could put some rust converter on there and uh, body filler once we're done and you'd never know but we have holes in it that at least has to be fixed my plan right now is to basically replace this circle of metal on the bottom leave this piece and leave the sides i think that's the best idea i think it'll work barring replacing the full thing which i don't have another one i think that's the best idea so we're gonna go with that for now however i also need to fix these areas here this is the sheet metal of the car my spare wheel well lip is right there same with up here the spare wheel well goes to here there could be some rust in between those panels we're gonna get started by drilling these spot welds right here where we gotta replace this rusty metal here. I might do up here at the same time. But we're gonna start right here and see how that goes. I looked underneath and there's barely a lip that that sits on. Like it, that lip is just barely wide enough for those spot welds to hold. So it might actually be easier to not remove the whole thing and just pop this up a little bit enough that I can replace this metal here. Uh, that is how I'm gonna try first if that doesn't go well, then I will continue with popping the whole thing out. If it does go well, and I can fix that metal there, then I'll probably just leave the spare wheel well in here. And I'll probably just replace this bottom floor of it in there. Uh, overall, I think it probably would be easier. But we're going to get started with that. Let's, let's uh, pop these spot welds here. I learned something while I was figuring out what I wanted to do with this spare wheel well. Maybe it'll be some good info for you guys. But for the 280Zs, they changed the spare wheel well. It is a lot shallower in these cars. The 240Z is, I think, like almost double the depth. And that is because they increased the fuel tank size for the 280Z. And to get that extra space, what they did is they raised the top of the fuel tank, took space where the wheel well was, and that allowed them to get the fuel capacity that they wanted but obviously that makes the spare tire stick up further so you know the spare tire sticks up somewhere like here above the floor and that is why on the 280z's you have this piece here and then you have that hardboard floor that just goes all the way to the back sits on top of the spare tire at the back so where i'm not running a spare tire in this car even though i'm keeping the spare wheel well i'm going to i think i'm going to get rid of that piece there and we'll just have our floor here whatever we do and i don't know what i'm going to end up doing with it anyways let's continue on and see if these all pop free all right I got those popped off. I got some gap underneath here where I just peeled this up just a little bit just so I could see what's going on. And I could replace that piece. You can see I got a nice gap underneath there. It is technically possible that I could replace that piece there. However, I don't think it's the best solution. I think I can do a much better job if I pop the whole spare wheel well out. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop that out. Uh, I gotta do obviously the rest of the spot welds around the perimeter. It's not that tough. This didn't take me 10 minutes or so to do this. But we've got some more underneath we gotta do also. We can see we got these support braces here, here, and down here. And obviously they're spot welded along the seams there. And I'm gonna have to pop those off. It's a little bit extra work. It's a little tougher than the ones on top just because of where they are. However, I think it's for the best. And if I knew I wasn't gonna use the spare wheel well, I'd just trim the sheet metal and it would make it so much easier but as of right now I am planning on still repairing that spare wheel well maybe once I get it out I will decide against that and I will just put a piece of sheet metal across it but as of right now I don't want to ruin that because I think I'm going to reuse it so yeah I'm going to go pop all those off and I'll catch back up with you guys once that spare wheel well is out so 
Change of plans. I am done messing around with that. We're just putting a flat panel in there. I got it all cut out, came out fine. Um, I ended up slicing it up a bit just to make it easier to get out once I decided I'm not gonna run that spare tire well. I think overall it's gonna be less work to just put a flat panel in there. What I'm gonna do is obviously, we have a nice sheet metal flat across here. I was hoping I could get something like uh, Dusty Mac did with his and has someone bead roll a Z in it, you know, for 280Z, Z car. However, I didn't make it happen in time. I didn't find anybody local with a bead roller and I don't have time now to go do it. I wanna get this done, so just not gonna worry about it. What we're gonna have to do, the plan is, obviously I have to clean up everything around the edge. This area here to here needs to be cut out. This area here to here-ish needs to be cut out. It's gonna be way easier to do that now that I don't have that spare wheel well in the way. And then, the rest of it's good though, just light, light surface rust between the panels nothing that even would have caused an issue but we'll clean it all up i gotta fix all my spot welds uh drilled through in a couple spots which actually i don't even need to fill that because i'll just weld it from the back side once that's done we will we lost a lot of strength right here obviously because that shape of the spare wheel well where these were butted up against helped strengthen this in the back so what i'm planning on doing is we will bend up some sheet metal just like this is run it across here to tie in right here we'll tie this one into it and then I might make another one to go to the back and tie in back here not a hundred percent on that well, we'll see once I get it in and have those pieces made and everything see how the gas tanks fitting and we'll try that so the next plan is probably Cut this piece out here. I'll start working on this old sheet metal and we'll get that all taken care of. That is the plan. See, this is what happens when I don't have a plan going into it and we just kind of wing it. The plans definitely changed beginning of the video. Well, actually, last video, I didn't think we didn't have to do anything. I thought we could just clean it up, maybe put some rust converter on it, fill a pits with body filler and it would be good. Now, we're at this point, we have completely eliminated the spare wheel well. That's just what happens when you don't have a plan, don't know what you're doing going into it. So yeah, let's get cutting that rusty sheet metal out. One of the best parts of cutting this out is now, I can stand up in the car, don't have to bend over the edges. There we go, we got our two pieces made. This piece is ready to go. I had to make it in a couple pieces just because I couldn't figure out how to do all these different bends in one piece. This one here was super easy because this is just a nice flat piece. Just had a little bit there we had to do. I got a little more of a gap than I would like, but overall, I'm happy with it. It's close enough. We've done plenty of filling of gaps and grinding everything down. We are at the point where we need to weld this up fully 
and we need to grind it down so that it looks good so we can start on the piece in here that's actually going to cover the hole. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's get to welding and grinding. Check it out, we got this all done, ready to go. Look at how nice that all looks. A lot of grinding, a lot of welding, but we got it done. Everything is ready to go pretty much. So obviously I gotta cut out the circle for the panel that's gonna go on here. That should be fairly easy to do. Normally I would fill all these holes back in where we drilled through the top layer of the spot weld. And obviously you always get a little bit into the second layer, but I'm not going to do that this time because I think I have another idea that'll be even easier. I think I'm going to drill them all the way through, which I could have done before if I had thought of it. But see, some of these I did on accident. Uh, what I'll do, my plan, is for these ones here, instead of wasting time filling them in with the weld and then grinding that back down so there's no air gap there for rust to form, is we'll drill them all the way through and weld from the bottom side, not drill through much on the plate that we're putting in so most of the weld will be from the bottom side it's a lot less drilling filling welding all that stuff i think that's the best plan so i gotta do that i gotta drill those out and then i've also still got to get rid of a lot of the undercoating along the lip here you know this is all gonna go but i don't need to do it right now but we'll get rid of a lot of the undercoating here uh everything around the lip because we're gonna need to weld there so that's what i'm gonna do gonna get this ready drill those holes clean that up and then we will go and cut our replacement panel to go in Got a nice circle all cut out to patch that in. All I did was set the old spare wheel well on top of my piece of sheet metal, just traced around it and cut it out. I used my little Harbor Freight tin snip things there. Uh, it actually went very easy, just a little bit of smoothing around the outside to get it perfectly round, but we're ready to put it in. Goes in there just like that. Fits nice and tight, so well, I guess technically we're not ready to put it in. I gotta put some weld through primer on the car and on the back side where that's gonna be welded so that we don't get rust in between. So let me go, I'll go throw some of that on and we'll get welding.
Well, I think we're gonna end the video off here. I definitely didn't get as much done this weekend as I had planned on. Um, I was hoping on getting this finished completely, uh, but generally things take longer than I anticipate. Uh, these, these two patch pieces we had to do up there that, I mean, honestly, looking at them, you can't even tell that they're there now. Now I got some paint on them, but, or not paint, it's, uh, I got rust encapsulator on there because there's little, little, little pits in this old metal here that I didn't get out and weren't going to be able to get out. So that rust encapsulator will help seal that up so it doesn't cause an issue in the future. But, and don't forget, that's all going to be seam sealed and everything when it's done. So anyways, yeah, didn't get as much done, but I got a lot done still. Not at all what I had planned on doing when I started off the weekend, you know, Saturday, I was anticipating just cutting out the bottom floor section of the spare tire well. Ended up taking the whole thing out, completely changing plans. Definitely think it is the right call though, because I wouldn't have been able to fix those nearly as well as I did. It would have got done, it would have been sufficient, I guess, but I'm much happier now with how those turned out than I think they would have had I tried to work around the spare wheel well. I don't, like I said, I don't need that spare tire area at all. So it's no loss really. Um, you know, I could have used it for maybe hiding stuff in, put a false floor over it. Um, not hiding, but storing stuff, but it's really not needed. We got these little compartments up here that we can store stuff and I'll just have to get the lids for. Yeah, next video though, we'll definitely get this done. I'll get that circle patch welded in. We'll make some quick framework there. Uh, just laying that in there without, you know, it's not even clamped in or anything. It's already very solid. Um, definitely want the more support of having that frame underneath, but it was surprisingly more solid than I anticipated. Probably a lot of that's to do with the thickness of the new sheet metal. It's a lot thicker than this old old sheet metal that you just push and it just flexes so yeah let me know what you guys think like i say every video we're getting close getting very close to starting on the 2jz swap i have everything that i need right now to mount it but obviously i don't have everything to actually finish it or anything but we're going to get it mounted in here soon probably after we finish this and we'll probably do the roof because that needs to be done. I'm hoping that one will be relatively easy because I'm literally taking an OEM roof skin and putting it on. Uh, the only tough part will be getting it separated without warping it at all. I just, if anybody's got any links to videos or anything of somebody else doing it, that way I got a little bit of preparation before we get started. Uh, yeah, let me know. Throw it in the comments below. And if you got any tips for when I get to that, uh, I definitely, definitely want to know. So leave me some comments on anything you got, any tips or anything to replacing that roof, because that's a very important piece. Like I said, didn't get quite as much done as I had hoped for, but still got a lot of progress done on the 280Z. So hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, leave me some comments, and I will see you guys in the next video.